Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. I'm going to show you how to turn a wooden spoon in two axes. The first axis is faceplate turning, and we're going to turn the bowl of the spoon in this blank. And then we're going to chuck it between centers and spindle turn the handle. I've marked a center line on the blank and where I want the center of the bowl to be. And I've applied double-sided tape to the back of the blank. This is simply about a 10-inch disc of plywood that I've mounted on my lathe. And I'm now going to bring that down and catch that center point right there. Lock my tailstock, and I'm going to put a good deal of pressure here. And that will set that tape and make it a pretty strong mounting. It doesn't hurt to clamp this with a C-clamp down here for just a second and get a little better adhesion down there. With double-sided tape, it's very important that you have good pressure between the two pieces or you won't get good adhesion. We can now withdraw the tailstock and turn the bowl of the spoon. And to do that, I've ground a nice little round nose scraper here that'll do the job handily. We want to shape that bowl like the inside of a sphere. We want it to be bigger down in than it is at the mouth. We've got this mounted. We're going to make sure that it clears our tool rests and that our tool rest is locked and is not going to move easily. That it's a little bit high so that we can scrape downhill. We're not going to let anybody stand at 90 degrees to this chuck, ourselves included, because if this flew off of there, it would go in that direction. Alright, I think I have the size of my bowl about right. I've found something that I can put in here. Salt works good, sugar works good, this is coffee. And I'm just going to take and dump the rest of this on the shop floor. And then I'll take a standard one teaspoon kitchen measuring spoon and see how this coffee fits in there. There, it's pretty good. Now we're ready to take this off the chuck, chuck it between centers, and turn the handle and outside of the bowl. Good double side tape that you buy at a woodworking store is very strong. It actually was difficult to get this blank off of this plywood disc. I had to clamp it in a vise so that the plywood was just above the bench. And then by pushing down on one side of it, it broke the bond fairly easily. I've got a mini center in place so that we can have a dainty hole that we can work around. And now we can increase the speed a little bit from the 600 RPMs we had to turn the bowl. We'll bring that up to 12 or 15, even 1800 RPMs. And the main tool we use here is a spindle gouge. All right, we're getting there. We can close in on this bowl a little bit. Okay, our final thing here is to sand this a little with some P20 grid paper. This boxwood turns so nicely with sharp tools that we uh, have very little sanding to do. We'll now take a block of wood with some sandpaper, create a nice little flat spot all around the edges. All we have to do now is part it off on either end. We can cut this off with a bandsaw and just sand that end out. We'll cut it off here. And 
there. I've cleaned up the chucking nubs and I now get out our coffee again and there we have about a perfect half teaspoon. Two of those make one teaspoon. We're ready to make coffee every morning with our wooden spoon. You can size these larger or smaller. It's a nice fun project. Have a good time.